This video is sponsored by Minitool. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a full HD video without watermark for free. Stay tuned. So guys, we are in the Windows and for the beginning we need to open our browser. For the example, I will use Google Chrome browser. Click on it. Then you need to type next. Minitool Movie Maker and press enter. Then you will see this website, Mini Tool Software, Mini Tool Movie Maker. You need to click on it, link will be in the video description. Click here. My friends, we are on the website from which we can download this software, moviemaker.minitool.com. As you can see, you can install it on Windows 7, 8, 10 and even Windows 11. In short, you have possibility to export and edit video in Full HD resolution without watermark. It's quite simple software if you are a new creator. To download this software, you need to click here, free download, and it will automatically download on your laptop or PC. After it's successfully downloaded on your system, you can open it, show in folder, this is our movie maker, now we need to click on it. In this window you can click install, if you wish you can click here and select the place where you want to save this software. In my case I will leave everything by default and click install now. Friends, literally you need to wait a few seconds until the software will be downloaded and installed on your laptop or PC. We successfully installed Mini Tool Movie Maker on my laptop and by default you will also see this website and here you may see that we use free edition. If you want to get more features and no time limits, you can buy license for a month, year or lifetime. Ok, I will close this window and let's get back to our software. Click start now, Mini Tool Movie Maker logo. And we are in the program. I want to notice some simple things. Here you may see timeline. Before you want to start editing video, I recommend to do one very important thing. You need to click here on more, click on file, select new project. Here I recommend to select resolution which will suit you the best. For the example, you may see 1 to 1 Instagram, 4 to 3 standard, 9 to 16 portrait and 16 to 9 widescreen. This option will suit me the best because I'm editing video for YouTube. Click on it and literally we can edit some files. For this you need to click here, import media files. As you can see, I have two video files and one audio. Now we need to select our files, click open, wait a few seconds. To move your file on the timeline, you need to click on the file which you want to move, click on it and hold the button, and then move the mouse cursor on the timeline. Ok, here we have an option to change the size of the timeline. We can make it smaller or longer, definitely it all depends on you. Then you can move the second file on your timeline. Click on it and move it on the timeline. Voila! On the timeline you can click here and select the place from which you want to start and you can monitor the whole process. Also, I want to notice that here you can change the contrast, saturation and the brightness of the video or the photo. As you can see, I'm changing the contrast, the saturation and the brightness. Definitely, it all depends on you. Also, you have an option to reset everything. You just need to click here and that's all. If you want to cut the video, you just need to find the moment that will suit you the best. And then you may see this icon, split. You just need to click on it. And voila, we successfully cut our video. So what I'm going to do next, I want to turn off the song in this video and I want to add my audio. So for this you need to select the video, then you can go to the audio section, here you may see audio, click on it, I can turn off the audio, also the same process I will do here, audio, and I will do the same thing here, click on the video, Audio, turn off the audio, OK. Now I'm going to add audio to my video. Move it on the timeline. But that's not all. Now I'm going to change the speed of the video. I want to make it much faster. So I will click on the video. Then I will go to the speed section. Click on it. In this case I will select 8x. I think it will be more than enough. The same thing I will do with the second video and the third video. I will change the speed, 
8x, speed section, 8x. So I successfully changed the speed of the video and turned off the audio and I add my audio. Also, if you pay attention, you may see some basic features. I will use transition, click on it. In this case, you can select which transition do you like the most. You can move the mouse cursor on the transition which you want to use and you can see how it looks. So for example, I will move this transition here. The second one I will move here. If you click here, you have an opportunity to type some text. In this situation, you can decide which text will suit you the best. You have a lot of options. As you can see, 52 files. I will move it to the middle. And now I have possibility to type something. For this, I can click on it, double clicking. For the example, I will type Dell E7280. Also, you can change the size of the text as well. And to make it more recognizable, you can add the background black. Okay. After you create your video, you can click here on export. In this window, you can name your file as you wish. For the example, I will type laptops. You can change the format of the video. It all depends on you and you can decide where you want to save your file. You can click here. In my case, I will select desktop. Click save. If you click on the settings, you can change the quality of the video. You have good, better and best. I will select best. Of course, we have possibility to change some option, resolution of the video, bitrate and frame rates. But I will leave everything by default. Click OK and click export. My friends, now you just need to wait. Everything will depend on your hardware. We have a good news. Your movie is done. Now you can click here, find target. And this is our video. Click on it. My friends, as you can see, we successfully create video in Full HD resolution without watermark. Everything works well.